Hi everybody, happy May. So I've been updating everybody as, as we go through this chaos on, on lenders and overlays and guidelines and Fannie and Freddie. And a lot of it has been kind of beware, a little gloom and doom. And I've got some good news today. So here's what's what. It looks like the Fed has come in with a solution for servicers. That's a very good, a good move. They've actually put a cap, a four month cap saying servicers, you can lose money on these forbearance deals till about four months and then we're going to step in and help you. That's good. Um, second, non-qualified mortgages are coming back. Angel Oaks coming back. Sprouts coming back. That's great for investors, people who can't qualify for conventional FHA VA loans. Uh, let's talk about FHA VA conventional loans. Yes, guidelines have tightened. Minimum FICO scores have gone up. Uh, everybody's, I'm sure, heard that uh, that Chase Bank has said, hey, we're not going to go below 700 and you got to bring 20 percent down. They've really tightened uh, their their uh, guidelines on conventional loans. Um, here's some good news. This is not the reaction from all the lenders in my pipeline. So I'm a wholesale mortgage broker. I'm the guy who shops for money. Um, not everybody has made these. Not every lender in my pipeline has made these crazy adjustments. Now, most have adjusted a little, certainly FICO scores. I mean, getting a deal done at 580 isn't going to happen anymore. So I think you need at least a 680. Um, and I'm sure some will go a little lower than that. But, you know, 680 is a good a good uh, score to aim for. Um, reserve requirements for investors, debt service reserve requirements. Some, uh, in, I call them investors, some lenders in my pipeline have not made any adjustments. Now, some have made, an, some have said, you've got to double your reserve. So if you needed three months, now you need six months. If you needed six months, now you need a year. Uh, but some have not made an adjustment at all. Some in my pi pipeline have made zero adjustments. Um, so what they're trying to do is, is get market share. So, um, so this is why you want multiple lenders in your pipeline. This is why I, you know, I like the broker model. Um, obviously enough that, you know, I'm a wholesale mortgage broker. Now I still, you know, I'm an investor, so I still have, uh, banking relationships. I have commercial banking relationships. I have ag bank relationships, um, portfolio banking relationships, and I have some portfolio lenders in my pipeline. Um, you just want options. So you all should know this by now. If you've watched any of my videos, you want options. So I've got 50 or 60 options in my pipeline, and then I have dozens outside of my pipeline. Um, and that's why I know where to send people for, say, HELOCs or uh, jumbo loans. Jumbo loans is another one that kind of went away with non-QM. Um, not everybody wanted to lend jumbo. So a lot of jumbo lenders halted jumbos. Those are starting to trickle back. Um, so yes, guidelines are more strict generally across the board. Some have not made any adjustments. A lot have made some adjustments and some lenders have made dramatic adjustments to guidelines and overlays. Um, but overall, this is this is good news, everybody. So I just wanted to give my update a little kumbaya. I know a lot of my videos have been uh, some gloom and doom because, you know, lenders were closing their doors. Um, guidelines were people were losing their jobs. I had people calling me. You know, I got a, a, a decent um, a decent network of, of clients and advisors and and some were calling me crying because they lost their job. They didn't want know what to do. Um, so it was tough and, and we're in for some tough times. We're not out of the woods here. Uh, but today, May 1st, 2020, I think this is good news. All day lenders are coming back. Um, the economy is starting to open again. Uh, real estate agents can show houses again. There's still pent up buyers out there. There's pent up demand. Um, and, you know, real estate markets are lower to respond uh, they're, they're more mature than, say, the stock market, right? Someone sneezes in China, you lose half your money the next day in the stock market. It take, it, the, the real estate market doesn't work that way. It takes a while for these things to unwind. So if I think back to 2008, I mean, how many years did it take to hit rock bottom after, uh, after the financial crisis of 2008? Two and a half years, just off the top of my head? It was years. So, um, so anyway, there's your update. There's some silver linings here. The deals are still getting done. We, we've we've been closing all our loans, um, so we're still getting them done. Yes, there's more uh, hoops to jump through. Yes, there's more documentation. 
uh, especially for my investors. We have to cross every T and dot every I even more so than we did, say, two months ago. But we're still getting them done. So anyway, there's a, a happy message for you all. All right. Happy Friday. Happy May 1st. Hope you're all well. Take care.